Hey guys, it's your Uncle Mark here. How you doing? Hey, hi. <laughs> say, say hi to your mother for me. Abraham Lincoln. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Captain Ty's Movie Night. I know I haven't done one of these in a while, and technically this is like Captain Ty's Movie Day because I'm filming this in the middle of the afternoon. This movie kind of takes a little bit longer to make because I kind of got to readjust my gear. You know, I like sitting on the couch and then in front of my TV, and it's not my usual backdrop, so got to adjust the tripod, the camera, all that stuff. But I've got the itching to make another one of these videos soon because I really like doing these. It's kind of nice for me because I can document my thoughts on some newer movies that I'm watching. Well, older movies, but new to me. And the movie I wanted to watch today, I'm going to watch... Planet of the Apes. Now this is not the Tim Burton, Mark Wahlberg version, despite the impression I did at the beginning. This is going to be the original 1968 movie. Obviously, War for the Planet of the Apes comes out this Friday. That's part of the reason I'm doing this. I also found this at Best Buy for fairly cheap recently. And just like all the other movies that I've watched for Captain Ty's Movie Night, I haven't seen this movie, and I, I really want to. I'm not so much interested in the sequels. I actually saw like five minutes of one of the sequels on TV a few years ago. It was around the time Dawn came out, but it was Conquest, I think. It was it was like movie three or four. I think it was Conquest or Battle. But I've heard this just is one of the greatest like science fiction movies of all time. What I'm kind of wondering is if it's gonna be one of those things where it was like, yeah, it was awesome back in the day, but now that I know the twist and tech has evolved, and especially now that we have three, hopefully three, at least two really good Planet of the Apes movies that are, you know, set in modern day. I'm interested to see if this movie does still hold up. I guess I'm not gonna ruin the twist now, just in case you don't know what the twist of the movie is, but I probably will at the end of the video. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and watch this movie. If you've never seen Planet of the Apes, you can feel free to watch it with me go ahead and pause this video go make yourself some popcorn sit down for about an hour and 52 minutes go ahead and watch the movie and then you can come back here and tune into the end of the video where I kind of give you my thoughts on it I try to keep the intros of these videos down even though I'm doing a terrible job at it now so Planet of the Apes let's do it Alright, so Planet of the Apes. This movie holds up really well. Not gonna lie, I was really impressed with this movie. There's some things in it that are dated, and even knowing the twist ending, it was still really cool seeing how they got there. When the movie started out, it starts out they're in like cryo sleep, which actually I didn't know that. I didn't know Charlton Heston and his crew. I didn't know they were from Earth circa like 1960s and 70s. And then they were in cryo sleep for the next like two to three thousand years. I thought that they were just born two thousand, three thousand years into the future. And getting this out of the way, while I try not to spoil anything in the intro of this video, I'm gonna spoil stuff in this part of the video. So if you haven't seen the movie, might not want to watch it. But that was cool because they know what Earth was like before the apes took over and so when they crash landed and they kept going back to that like oh on earth we did this on earth we did this so it makes the apes feel very foreign to them and so that end reveal it still had you know, a cool mystery to it at first though when they crash landed on the planet i was like you see shots it's like clearly arizona when i was watching it i was like how do they not know this is earth did, did people were people actually fooled by this in the 60s but it's when you get to the colony of humans and you see the apes and i was like this really does feel like a different planet now, some of the end scenes i live like less than an hour away from a lot of those beach shots so when i was watching it and they were still trying to pass it off as the planet of the apes i was like i've gone boogie boarding there before so that took me out of the movie a little bit dr zayas was a punk though <laughs> I didn't know Dr. Sayers was the villain of the villain. I, that was like one of the few names I knew going into this movie. But I didn't really know much about the characters. Actually, speaking of the names, there were some cool Easter eggs that I really liked. I guess they're Easter eggs from the reboots that are attributing this. But it was cool seeing because I'd already seen the reboots. So I was watching this. I was like, oh, that's from Rise. That's from Dawn. But you know, you have like Cornelius in this movie. Cornelia is one of the apes in Rise. They nicknamed Charlton Heston's character Bright Eyes. And that's what they called Caesar's mom in Rise. But getting back to Dr. Zayas though. Yeah, I didn't know he was the villain of the movie. He's the scientist in the apes village. I liked him. He was a jerk, but I liked him. Charlton Heston's trying to prove that there were humans on this planet, that humans aren't like crazy like the apes think they are. And the apes are all like, no, democracy and apes and ape law. I didn't actually like a lot of the stuff with the ape government and the ape religions and stuff. And it does, it's a big social mirror to what was going on in the 60s and really today. But Dr. Zayas is well aware that there were humans. He's trying to hide it from the apes. And there's some political scheming that goes on with him that I thought was really cool. But I liked that at the end of the movie when they capture him, they tie him up and Charlton Heston's riding away with Zira. He's looking for more proof of humans and Dr. Dr. Zayas tells him, like, you can go looking, but you might not like what you find. Dr. Zayas knew. He's like, yeah, there were humans here, and they wrecked it. They wrecked the world. That's why we're here. You gotta assume that Forbidden Zone was something to do with, like, nuclear holocaust. I'm gonna keep this video fairly short, because I'm actually going to see war in a little bit, but Planet of the Apes 
really impressed me. I think I might put it in my top 10 science fiction movies. I haven't really thought about that much. So it's kind of like, what do you consider a science fiction? Like Aliens, is that more science fiction? Is that more action? I think it's really both. Star Wars, science fiction, fantasy. That's probably more fantasy. But Planet of the Apes was really cool. I really enjoyed it. I think it does hold up 49 years later. And that's what I like about doing these videos. I get to see these cool older movies and give you my thoughts on them. I think it's a lot of fun. So Planet of the Apes, did you watch it with me? Have you seen it before? What did you think of the movie? Let me know down in the comments. And thank you so much for watching this video. If you guys liked it, you can click subscribe and check out some of my other videos. And I'll catch you guys next time.